Hey Candace. <laughs> hey guys, it's Candace from Beachwood Farm Homeschool. Today I've got a homeschool haul. Uh, this is uh, like an accumulation of a couple of the orders I've done online. I've ordered two times from Amazon and a uh, thrift books order and I wanted to share them with you and uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy. If you like seeing these videos, Make sure you subscribe and I will try to put more out. Let's see. Let me open the sucker up. So I've got uh, state and capital flashcards. We are learning our USA states for um, for this year. So we're going to start learning our capitals. And also we, we are also learning China history right now. So I just got this little informational book. Pretty small. It looks like it's got a lot of information on it though. Oh wow. I was expecting like a little easy reader. Cool. Well, that's awesome. And then I just got this Writing with Ease Level 1. And it's the workbook. I heard you didn't have to really buy both the workbook and the teacher's guide. So uh, that's exciting. So I have no idea what's, how this works. So I'm guessing it's like first language lessons. Copy work, narrations. Awesome. So I'll do a review of that later um, once we dive into it. So that's all that I got from Amazon. And I have a couple other boxes of, from thrift books from other um, read alouds and stuff. So, all right. I picked up this uh, original McGuffey's Eclectic prim uh, Primer. And I didn't realize that it was different than the one we've been using it, but we are using a um, revised version, which is fine. I don't know, no big deal, but it is different, so we'll have to go through this. I don't know what the big differences are, but it's less than three, so it's a little easier to me. Well, kind of. So I'm, I need to look it up to see what is the difference and if this is okay, which I'm sure it is, but... Anyway, that's what I picked up. All this stuff was like three bucks each. I picked up The Age of Miracles. This is on my TBR, but our library doesn't carry it, so I just bought it off there. And that's what I think I'll do, is every time I put in a order for thrift books, I'll put one of my books in there that I need to get. And then on the banks of Plum Creek, we're still, still reading this for this month, and um, so I can return it. I would like to buy all the whole series so we're on this one right now so that's what I bought. Uh, we are doing Human Body so I bought this Basher Science book and about the human body and it's just really fun little tidbits of information. Well, it's not a tidbit but it's uh, pretty good and I like the illustrations. So um, yeah one of the other homeschool moms had a couple of these for us to look at at our co-op meeting and I loved it so I picked that up and then the DK first human body encyclopedia for science we are doing the elemental science we're still working through our biology for the grammar stage because I kind of stopped that in mid-year of last year so we are going along with the human body and so I need this because that goes along with it right now this next week we're going to be talking about skeletons so that is what I did with thrift books. And that was my mini homeschool haul. Alright, I got another Amazon box in today. And it is our Story of the World, Volume 2. This is what we're going to move on to. We're almost done with China's History of China. And uh, we'll move on to this. I forgot how much I like Story of the World until I pulled it out and was looking through it when I was showing my neighbor. I was going to homeschool, and I forgot how much I like it. So I got the activity book, and then I also got 
the book. All right, crisis averted. So, I've got the book, and I've got the activity book. It looks about the same. It's got the same, yeah, the same has the narration and review questions and the activities and the corresponding literature so that you could get those extra books that coincide with uh, the chapter. So I really like the story of the world. Just forgot how much I like it. So we've got the coloring pages. I should have got the maps. Yes, yeah, got the maps. And I also got uh, the sword in the tree. Um, soon I'm going to be posting what we're going to do for history and why um, what we're going to follow because I have a printout and a uh, plan that we're going to follow and I will go over why we're doing but this is what Miette's going to read. It's just a short chapter book. It's called The Sword in the Tree. So that's what I got for her to read while we're for the first couple of weeks while we're going through this. And then I'll pick up another one in week seven but I will go over that more in detail coming up.